welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Arsenal facing Burnley. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Goodman song. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball, and a fantastic diving save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Interception to snuff out the danger. Jorginho. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Goodmanson. Cullen. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. No yellow card, instead a firm warning from the official. He must thump it away. The Gunners have lost the ball. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Really vital interception here. And space to cross it. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Yeah. And now the delivery will clatter away. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Alexander Zinchenko. Jacka with it. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one.
Good vision from Gabriel Jesus. Zinchenko. Gabriel Jesus. And a goal. Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. A sloppy pass. Martin Odegaard. So on the cusp of the half-time interval, it's Arsenal holding the edge here. Stuart, time for your assessment of what you've seen from them. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Well, the supporters think it's on. And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, not the best clearance. Marcinelli. Now with Jorginho. Can he do it? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And there we have it. So back underway here, into the second half. Bukayo Saka. Martin Odegaard. A chance to whip it in. And it might be. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So, 2-0 now. Josh Brownhill, Johan Berg Goodmanson. And that was a very fine read. Martinelli. Jacker with it. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Jorginho. And a textbook interception. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here. And it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Bukayo Saka. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Well, play was allowed to carry on, but now that it's come to a halt, a caution. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Coming onto the pitch, number three, Kim Tien. And number five, Tom. 
Thomas Patton. Substitution for Burnley. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Ashley Barnes. Coming onto the pitch, number 9. So far from the ideal pass. Chance to cross. Now that's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. They take it short. Cullen. Can he get one back? Oh, no, is the answer. It was a guilt-edged opportunity. He couldn't avail himself of it. You have to say that's a big chance missed. He had to score there. That makes it difficult now. Alexander Zinchenko. Jorginho. Just to let you know, the club shop is open after today's game. High quality defending. He has time to play it over. An alert piece of defending. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Goodmanson. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Tione. Bukayo Saka. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Martinelli. Gabriel Jesus. Zinchenko. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And so into the final five minutes. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. And over it comes. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Partey. Gabriel Martinelli. And that's an important intervention. And there it is, the final whistle. Well, not exactly what Clarets fans wanted to see in terms of the result. A defeat here. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance.